TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. Uh, but you probably won't see this, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. This is a little warning screen. I don't know what this video holds, but just in case, it's there. Twitch.com. That's where you can catch any lives or previous lives or be ready for the next live. At the bottom of the screen is the username. Don't forget, we also got merch. And we be on Patreon five days a week, man. Monday through Friday. Salute to everybody that's a Patreon fam. I appreciate you. Uh, this is London's Most Dangerous Street Gangs Part 2. This is UK Drill Plug's channel, too. Salute, gang. Oh, let me hit the like button before I... Let's get into it, man. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. Now, like London is one of the most well-known cities around the world, and due to the fact it's the capital of England, this results in it being a tourist hotspot, with thousands of people traveling from all over the world to London. However, what a lot of people who travel to and from London don't know about are the street gangs that control postcodes and engage in postcode wars with rival gangs, resulting in London being a crime hotspot with postcodes. Okay. 21 seconds in, nothing new yet that we don't know. Code killings, stabbings, and shootings playing out between street gangs. In this video, we will be exploring some of the most dangerous street gangs within London, with each of these gangs controlling the local drug trade and also having deadly rivalries with opposition gangs. Before this video starts, I'll be sharing today's paid promo. Beats and Bars is a UK rap and drug. Salute. E8 postcode, street gang based. ZT. London Fields or ZT is a large street gang based around the London Fields areas within Hackney. The gang is based around the E8 postcode and has had a violent reputation for over a decade. The older generation of the gang went by Mashtown. However, the current younger generation goes by ZT or Zero Tolerance. The Zero ZT time. gang has had an ongoing rivalry with Holly Street since the 1990s, which has been one of London's longest gang rivalries ever. The ZT gang gained... What did it start over? I'm guessing a female. Its violent reputation after stabbings, shootings, and killings would be linked to the gang, with it being publicly known that the gang is responsible for four murders within the last few years. One of the most well-known murders would be that of J-Dot, who would be killed by ZT members after being set up by a girl around nine years ago. The murder of J-Dot. Tell you, hey, listen. Don't ever get taken out your glory about some, about some vag. If it don't feel right, <laughs> or if it don't, if it seemed too easy or too good to be true, you're being set up. It's called a back door. It would be especially dark, as following the attack, a picture of J. Dot dead would circulate the internet with a leaked song by Z. T. That's negative. Titled JD's corpse disrespecting the incident. Rest in peace, J. Dot. The ZT gang has beef with Niners, Holly Street, Pembury, and Hoxton, and is allied with Stokey 16 and EC1. Prominent members of ZT include Ballistic, Asco, and Dabs. ZT also controls the local drug trade Allegedly. around Hackney, with them often getting into disputes with anyone else that tries to interfere with them. Now, only oh, 23. MPK. Hey, listen, listen. When I get there, I'm coming as a civilian, buddy. I don't want to, don't come up to me throwing no signs because I don't know them. I'm not, if it's not a Chicago sign, I will not understand. I'm thinking you throwing sign language up. I don't know. <laughs> minutes away from London Fields lies another dangerous street gang referred to as NPK or Northumberland Park Killers. NPK is a street gang based within Northumberland Park, N17. The gang was previously a part of the Tottenham Mandem around the early 2000s. However, they would form NPK around 2002, with NPK starting to beef Shank Stars, nowadays known as Edmonton in 2003. NPK has had a long-standing rivalry with Woodgreen and Edmonton, and in recent years, they would begin to beef former allies OFB, which has proven to be deadly, with a member of NPK even killing an OFB member named Six. NPK has gained a violent reputation with them even allegedly being responsible. Ain't the whole of NPK locked up like most of the members? 
responsible for over 20 stabbings and 5 murders. The NPK gang have beef with OFB, Woodgreen, and N9. NPK is allied with TPL DC8 and has loose affiliation with a nearby gang named Manor House. In recent years, NPK has gained a lot of attention in the drill scene, with them dropping rude drill songs like Put in a Spliff and coffin, which referenced the death of Lamps from Woodgreen, who would be shot dead outside of View Cinema in Woodgreen, and up until this day, two very disrespectful tracks, the murder remains unsolved. Prominent members of NPK include Unks, Tugga, KK, and Gunna. Drillford or GYD is a street gang based around multiple different areas within Ilford. The gang takes up two different areas of Ilford, these being the Loxford Lane and Lay Street areas. Drillford is a relatively small gang, with them supposedly only having a few members. However, despite the gang being small, they are known to be dangerous. The Drillford gang has had a dangerous rivalry with nearby Manor Park, with the beef resulting in over five people dying. However, I have a more in-depth video on this beef linked above. The Drillford gang has recently gained a violent reputation with stabbings, shootings, and murders I being linked to the game, with the beef between Drillford and Manor Park getting heated when a triple shooting would take place, killing Giddy, who was a Drillford member, and his cousin Zach. Around a week ago, a stabbing would also be reported within Manor Park. This attack is believed to be Drillford members attacking Manor Park members. Prominent members of the Drillford gang include Giddy, Show Psycho, and Bailiff. These members have music, however Giddy would sadly pass, and the other members are either incarcerated or have jumped off road. Yeah, Street Smart 101, man. You shouldn't be walking through no active gang territory <laughs> after a certain time. Even during that time. Me, personally, I'm not walking anywhere. You're not going to catch me walking. In Chicago, it was rare. I, 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 It was a corner store. It was a taco place on the corner of my house. Like, the same block as me, but on the corner. And I almost, arrive, I almost catch an Uber there. Don't play with me. <laughs> I catch an Uber to that mug. It's a 30 second walk. I will Uber and tell bro wait outside. Now, AGB, or Active Gang, is a small street gang based around Agar Grove within Camden. The gang is well known to be small, with there only being around 20 members, with a lot of these members either being in jail or having jumped off road in recent years. Active Gang is known to have a deadly rivalry with nearby 51st, which is an alliance of gangs including Peckwater, Queens Crescent, and Cumbo. The AG Gang has been responsible for multiple murders in and around the Camden area. Active Gang has gained a violent reputation within the scene, and recently blew in the UK drill scene with rappers like Suspect, Broad Day, and T-Scam, dropping UK drill anthems that gained millions of views. However, in recent years, Suspect would be locked for the murder of Culprit. He would receive life in prison, along with S. Wavy. Another prominent member, T-Scam, would also be hanged 21 gone. years in prison after he would shoot up a funeral looking for ops. However, T-Scam would hit innocent girls that were in the area. The AG gang beefs nearby 51st, SSK, and CGM. The gang has affiliation with HRB, 1, 5, 6, and 12 Anti. The AG gang have been in the news in recent years, with CCTV even being released showing AG members shoot- Is shooting. anybody about to get out of jail? Like, all I hear is <laughs> y'all going in, man. Being at 51st members in the middle of Camden High Street, which is crazy Anybody as Camden High out? Street is a very busy area with a lot of tourists being present. The AG gang is also well known to control the drug trade around Camden, with a lot of AG's main members being very wealthy within the streets, often being pictured next to expensive cars, wearing expensive clothes and wearing expensive jewelry. Now, the Hillside Alliance is different to the other gangs on this list, as this is rather an alliance than a singular gang. The Hillside Alliance is a collection of gangs that oppose the Gas Alliance, the Hillside Collection. That's what they should name themselves. My fault. I'm not condoning any of this, but the Hillside Collection sound tough. The gas gangs include 410, Claptown, UTH, and more, whilst the Hillside Alliance consists of gangs 67, LTH, GID, and 417. 67 and LTH would start to use the phrase Hill in reference to the alliance, as LTH is based around Lower Tulse Hill and 67 is based around Brixton Hill. This alliance of gangs has proven to be very deadly, with this group of gangs being responsible for over six deaths, including the deaths of Reckless, S1, Stomps, and Perm, who would all be killed by members within the Hillside Alliance. Rest in peace. The hillside. Yeah, RIP to everybody that's been mentioned so far.
Gangs are also known to control the local drug trade in and around South London, with them allegedly earning loads of money from it. Prominent members from these gangs include LD, Dope Smoke, and C1, to name a few. The rivalry between the Hillside Alliance and other opposing gangs has become very deadly in recent years, with 6-7, LTH, and GID heavily beefing UTH, 410, and CT or Claptown. Recently, a shooting would take place near Clapham, with a gunman shooting at three people injuring all of them. Following this incident, a man would be arrested, however his identity hasn't been released and it probably won't until a full trial takes place. However, it has been alleged the shooter was a part of the Hillside Alliance. Now, Skengfield or AP is a street gang based around Enfield with an EN3 post code. The gang originally went by GMG or Get Money Gang and has become one of the richest gangs in London. The gang has been around for over 20 years. The Skengfield gang is known to have ties to Turkish crime families, with Skengfield being massive in the drug trade, with a lot of their members even being rumored to be millionaires within the streets. An example of this would be a member named Ninja, who was allegedly a millionaire. Hey, However, sadly, me, Ninja right. would be shot dead outside of a Bagel Brothers in 2020. During the 2000s, thousands GMG I ain't gonna lie if the streets make me a millionaire you I don't hey listen <laughs> I gotta buzz you up somewhere or something I'm calling Uber Eats I'm not no because like the streets breed haters like there's haters out there oh man I, let me take him out I can do the same thing he just in my way when the whole time you really can't be here tonight you can't be the next man your path is your path well, that's tough. Your Get Money Gang would be making millions from the drug and guns trade, with them having links all over London. London. Nowadays, the gang isn't as influential, as police would begin to watch the prominent members of the gang. This then resulted in key members being locked up or killed. In recent years, the Skengfield gang would form, this consisting of younger members, who were not as successful as previous members. Prominent members of Skengfield include Django, Ninja, and Pokey. Skengfield's main ops are N9 or Edmonton. This beef has been going on for over a decade. However, I have a video on this rivalry on screen now. The Skengfield gang are out- But y'all see what I be saying though, and, and what the most, like y'all wanna be like oh no that's just a cliche that's not true the streets don't lead to just death in jail well sure it does it's not a cliche bro was a whole millionaire still in the streets because the streets made him what he was so he was out there like mitch if the street if i leave the streets the streets still gonna love me and no they won't the streets is a revolving door it's whoever's at the top at the moment or the most known gets the most clout and recognition obviously just like the rap game allied with NPK, like and tpl and even have links to lth in south london if you have learned anything within this video make sure to stay out of the streets as this road life really isn't worth it all of the people mm. involved in this life have potential to make legal careers however they get caught up in the wrong lifestyle where they are often fighting for a postcode that they don't even own and the people that often appear to be these gang members friends probably won't remember them if they Shout are out crypto for the gifted sub. doing life in prison rest in peace everyone in this video if you enjoyed this video make yeah this is, i mean hey listen i liked it and i left him so i'm already sub man i think uk drill plug me i mean i like his videos i don't know how about the, how much their accuracy are i always see in the comments he says he messed up this he messed up that well well why don't y'all create a channel and not mess up <laughs> tell all of you like comment subscribe and we'll go